tell you that. He works on the scrolls with me. It's over and over again. The scrolls isn't enough. And it has to do with also with Christian the theology. Uh, John the Baptist making a straight path in the wilderness for our God and so on. The whole idea of making a way in, in, in the wilderness and others going astray. If you want to see it in the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's uh, very strong in a document like the community rule. And you'll see it in there several times and also in the Damascus document. Anyway, the people of the book long to make you disbelievers. See, they, they, they're causing trouble. Uh, but who are the people? Uh, uh, the Jews here. Again, there are no subans and Christians here to speak of. Uh, though I'm sure the Christians would have caused trouble too if they were around. Uh, because they envy. Because the truth has been made, made manifest unto, unto you, and uh, etc. Uh, forgive them, be indulgent. Allah can do all things. And here's the capsule of Islam again, second or third time. Establish worship, pay the poor due. Whatever good ye do, you send before you. Good works, Allah is seeker and knower of all you do. Do, 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 doing, the emphasis on doing, I'll tell you, very big in the Dead Sea Scrolls, isn't it now? And also very big in uh, the letter of James in the New Testament. Uh, and none enters paradise unless he be a Jew or Christian, they say. That, that's their own thing. Say, bring proof if you are of the truth. Here's the antagonism now to the previous religions. And I think that's a fair statement. I don't think anyone should say only we enter paradise. Nobody should be able to say that if there is a paradise, obviously. Of all decent people should be accorded that uh, possibility. Uh, it's an idle way of thinking. But, uh, so he's right there. Uh, but I'm sure that his own followers would deny others the chance to enter paradise. So uh, the question is, do we grant it to all peoples? And so on? Anyway, he's laughing at the at the Jews and the Christians here. Nay, here's the truth. Whoever surrenders his purpose to Allah while doing, do, 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 do again. What? Always do, which is the base of the word works in Semitic languages. His reward is with the law, Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. And here's some more funny things because he's just talking about. See the polemics here? Not like the early service. And the Jews say the Christians follow nothing which is true. And the Christians say the Jews follow nothing which is true. Yet both read the same scripture. Well, they don't read the same scripture, but anyway, in his view, they are reading the same scripture. Even thus speak those who know not. Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection, on the judgment day, concerning what they, uh, what, where they differ. So he's setting his enemies against each other and saying both of them are foolish. So this was the antagonism here to, between Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. You see it? coming through very, very strong here, and right from the get-go. So if you meet a Muslim who are really decent people, and they have some of these views about Christians and uh, Jews, well, honestly, you see where it comes from. It comes right out of the corner. Now, that's not necessarily wrong. They, they, he may be right there. Maybe Jews do say that. Maybe Christians do say that. Maybe in this time they were saying that. But it seems also Muslims say that too. So, I mean, uh, all three of them are uh, maybe uh, not admirable on that particular point. And who doeth greater wrong than who forbids the approach to Allah's sanctuaries, lest his name should be mentioned? Anyway, such pe fear people will have a painful day. 116, I gotta hurry up. And I have taken up as they say. Now, we've had enough bashing of the Jews, right? Who's gonna get bashed here? The Christians. And they say, Allah hath taken unto himself a son. That's about the most that comes through about Christian doctrine here. Who says Allah has taken unto himself a son? Well, Pauline Christianity. I don't think even like Christianity said that. Even like Christianity said Jesus, there was no supernatural birth, that Jesus was born by natural generation and the way other men were born. He was just advanced beyond other men in righteousness. And, uh, and so on. And, uh, and it was his righteousness that was advanced, not a supernatural birth. But Pauline Christianity has the supernatural birth. And that's, of course, our Christianity. That's worldwide Christianity. Even I, just, I don't even know if there are any anywhere in the world, <coughs> except in this room, maybe. So they say he'd taken him himself as some. <laughs> no. No, he didn't. But what's the next qualification he makes?
too. He's very, very clever and very, very, you know, really capable person here who's writing this book. Uh, what's that? Yes, but he could if he wanted to. See, because nothing is beyond all his power is what he's saying, but he didn't. You see, but whatsoever is in heaven and earth is his, so yeah, yeah, he could. Or subservient to him, but he didn't. Okay? The originators of heaven and earth, when he decreeth the thing, you see, all he has to do is say what? Be. And it is. So, all that's powerful enough to do that, should he have wanted to, but he didn't do it. And so those who have no knowledge say, why doth Allah speak unto us or some sign come? Why don't you give us signs? Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, their hearts are all alike. Lo, we, who, whoever is doing the sending here, have sent thee with the truth of glad tidings. A warner, or that's like the early service, 119, a warner again, 120. And the Jews will not be pleased See, the Jews will not be pleased with you. And the Christians will not be pleased until you follow what they believe, saying, no, no, no. The guidance is with Allah, not you. It's very strong stuff here, and I think pretty impressive sometimes. And if thou should follow their desires after the knowledge which that come unto thee, then thou wouldst have from Allah no protecting friend. So really, I don't need to follow their way. Because I've got new knowledge, and therefore, if I return to their way, I would be wrong. This is pretty autobiographical, what you're saying here. Okay, back to Bible stories. Oh, children of Israel, 122, remember the favor. He, he grants that the children of Israel were the chosen people, whether they were not, I don't know. If you meet Jews, they say, yeah, we're chosen, chosen for misery, uh, suffering. But I don't think any even Jews think they're chosen for anything much anymore, except uh, gas chambers, maybe. So uh, not to think that many Jews are thrilled with that idea, but uh, in any case, that was one of the propaganda pieces of the biblical prayer. And guard yourself against the day. Yeah, you see, if you say such things, uh, not no, he says that he acknowledges that that they were preserved, preferred, but now they're backsliding, they're falling down again. And guard yourself against the day. What day? The day. And what is that day again? Again, no intercession. When no soul ought avail of another. How many times have we heard that? Now, you should know it by now. Four times. You probably know Islam already better than you know Judaism and Christianity. Just from reading these passages out loud. But you can't forget that. A day when no soul will, and even in English it's powerful. A day when no soul will have power over any other. And no compensation will be extended.